Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me, everyone? Yes, teacher, I can. Oh, Hector, how do you feel? You said that you're sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my, my, more or less, more or less. More so, or so. less. <laughs> <laughs> how was your day? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I, uh, my goal for this goal for this day. Maybe no. I think. How uh, No. I get. Uh huh. My my goal. So I complete my objective this day. You get. <laughs> you got your goals. Mm -hmm. Or you can get, use. Oh God. Got porque es en pasado. So I got my goals. Uh huh. Or I, I reach my goals. Reach. Reach. Uh -huh. Rich, like a, a lot of money, rich. Oh, no, the spelling is different. Um, I'm sending in the chat. Rich, mm -hmm. that's the verb that we use when we get something, like alcanzar. Mm -hmm. ah, so if rich. you are talking about your goals, for example, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. say, I reach my goals. My goal. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome. Take a note. Take a note. <laughs> yes, do it, please. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. How do you feel? Let's see. Let's see. I can see Holman. Hello, Holman. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I am, I am very tired. I imagine. I am, I am fine, I am relaxing. Ready for the weekend. Yes, I am very quiet. What, what are, what are the plans for the weekend? Uh, I have to do my, my, my things, my homework. Homework? My, I don't remember how can I say uh, when you when you have things in your house. Chores. House chores. Chores only chores. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are like the things in your house. For example, the cleaning when you have to wash your clothes, for example, like como las tareas domésticas, right? So those are chores. Yeah, clean my bed, wash mm -hmm. my uniform. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, go out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take a rest, take a rest. <laughs> well, I hope you can relax. A little bit yeah. at least. Yeah. yeah. How about you, everyone? Any plans for the weekend? What will you do? Uh-huh. Anyone? I will work, teacher. <laughs> Only work? Yes. <laughs> Just you that. Nev never rest. <laughs> when I will die. Ah, you will rest when you die. Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see. How about you, Jamie? What are your plans for the weekend? Oh, clean the house. Okay. <laughs> do a new uh, do something. So we are uh, we are building a house. So I have to I have to buy materials of construction to and... buy the material. Yes, buy. 
<laughs> ah, okay. That's interesting. Very nice. Well, you will be very busy, guys, during the weekend. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, okay, <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, I hope you can rest at least a little bit. All right, try okay. it. <laughs> all right, who else? Anyone else? What are your plans for the weekend? What will you do? Anything interesting? Uh huh. Anyone? No one? Oh my goodness. What will you do? Teacher, going to rest in the morning. Ah, very good. And in the afternoon, I'm going to have class. Oh, do you have classes on weekend? Yes, Saturday in afternoon. Oh, university? In a course. Mm, okay. It's a four course. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So, everyone, well, I hope you can enjoy your weekend. Try to rest at least a little bit. Okay, so on Monday, we can get a lot of energy again. All right. Now, let me tell you, I feel very, very happy because... Most of you already finished the platform. I like that. Um, almost everybody finished, and that's super great. Um, the exam, uh, only two people hasn't finished the exam. So everybody, uh, there are two people that already got uh, already get the observation in the attendance. So in the attendance, there are two people that already has like a mark that says that haven't worked on the platform. So I don't want it to have issues, okay? So you have to finish, try to work, try to advance as soon as possible. So the note can be removed. Okay, the other ones, everybody, congratulations. You did a, ex, a, a very excellent job uh, in the exam. I can see very good grades. Almost everybody finished the unit number two. And I have many people that already finished unit number three and unit number four. So excellent job i feel very happy for that so for the one who hasn't finished no worries i mean uh, for the one who hasn't finished the unit three and four it's okay no problem you can uh, still working on that but for the ones that are already finished nice you are just waiting the last exam if you have questions about an exercise of the platform remember that you can always tell me and i will help you okay now let's start it today we are going to have a lot of practice okay because we are in the middle of the course we are exactly in the middle, so today we are going to have a lot of practice. Now, do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh huh. Do you remember what we talked about? Oh my goodness. Different, different uh, ways. Uh -huh. Brand, brand way, I don't know, may a uh, geographic brand. Um, mm. forgot. <laughs> Personal brand. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else do you remember from yesterday? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> I know that it's Friday. I know that you feel a little bit tired. I know, and I totally understand. It's Friday and the body knows that, I know. 
but let's try to be a little bit active. If you want to drink coffee, I mean, do it. Or if you got a snack, it's okay for me, no problem. But I want you to participate. Try to participate as much as you can. So that's the way that you can feel active and don't get sleep, okay? Now, as Hector was saying, we were studying different types of brandings. Right, the personal, corporation, a geographical, cultural. So that's good. But also, if you remember, we were talking about the celebrities endorsement. So that's is something that we are going to continue talking today because mm -hmm. there was <laughs> an activity that we couldn't finish. Let me share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. Yes. So today is April 14th. We are in the week three, unit three. Do you remember what was the meaning of celebrity endorsements? What was that? Aha. Uh -huh. Anyone? What is the meaning of oh. celebrity endorsement? Yes. When a celebrity is uh, imagined on a it is it uh, is when brand. a celebrity works together with a brand. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, both of you are correct. So basically, we use a celebrity right as an image that represents the brand. And yesterday we had an activity. I need you to choose products and you have to tell me which celebrity will you consider for endorsement and you had to explain me why and also you had to choose a celebrity which you never would like to use as a celebrity endorsement but you have to tell me the reason why okay so this activity was in groups um so let me see the group number one it was with fatima who else uh, lucy and only you girls lucy and fatima uh-huh yes, Present. All right. So, girls, go ahead. Um, okay. One of you can tell me the uh, celebrity that you want, and the other girl, you can tell me the celebrity that you don't want. So, both of you can talk. Okay. Go ahead. Who wants to start? I and can the, start. Perfect. Go ahead. And the rest of you, everybody, please pay attention. Go ahead. We think that Selena Gomez maybe uh, can be a famous um, person for um, endorse uh, the product. The product that we are offering is um... <laughs> Fatima, can you help me, please? Yogurt, yogurt, ice cream. Yogurt, yogurt, that's, that's true. Sorry, thank you. So the um, product, the product is yogurt. Yogurt, yes. But okay. this is a this is a type of yogurt, um, from the people that want to, um, take care of of their their health. And Selena Gomez right now is, is have a lot of followers. I think she is the uh, most followed. Um, person in, in, Instra in Instagram and I think all we think is that is because she's taking a lot of herself and about her health and that is because we think it's a, a perfect uh, famous person for endorsement or, or product. Mm, okay sounds good sounds good now, Fatima, tell me which celebrity you wouldn't consider. The celebrity, um, I wouldn't 
is Kendall Jenner because, <laughs> <laughs> because she is very skinny and when well, she is a model but don't don't represent the image with with have a uh, endorse or product okay what is a uh, image more, more healthy so you think that she doesn't represent healthy she doesn't look healthy that's what you mean yes ah okay actually that sounds good good idea okay very good thank you fatima thank you lucy very good job i like that okay now let's see the team number two in the team number two i had magdaleno i get nelson and pamela so i don't know who's here in the team because uh, pamela i think that she's listener and Nelson, I, I don't see him. So, uh huh. Who wants to represent the team? Teacher, who else is here? Just you. Just I. <laughs> yeah, you are the one. Okay, I have a little troubles. <laughs> because uh, because I don't remember what was my brand and I don't remember was what my you don't my remember celebrity. anything. <laughs> yes, my I I remember goodness. I remember who I wouldn't. Okay, <laughs> but <laughs> yes, you don't yes, remember you don't remember the product, nothing. Ah, yeah, yeah, remember, remember, it's Diana. <laughs> It's Diana. Diana product. Diana, the snacks. Yes, Diana product. Okay. It, and my my product was Diana product, and they are chips. You know that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we choose the celebrity, uh, some uh, cocolito and other. What is the profession of them? Cocolito and. It's a uh, clown. Clown. Yes. We okay. choose a clown. He is Cocolito for represent our imaging, our image. Image. Oh, okay. Image. So, so why? Yes. Why Cocolito? Because he is Salvadorian and he is a is a person who is recognized um, for um, children and adults. He is uh, a good person. He is a good person for models, and uh, he's a good person, is right? Just like that. <laughs> that okay. is the reason. Okay, and which is the celebrity you wouldn't consider? Okay, I remember we wouldn't consider the president. Um, uh, the president, what is her, her name? His name. He is uh, El Profe. Do you remember <laughs> the name? Do you mean Mr. Sanchez Seren? That's yes, what? yes, it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> we wouldn't consider never he. He, uh, he is a loser. <laughs> All right. Remember that this class is being recorded. <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> Excuse that, me, word. That's okay. He's not the president anymore. Don't worry. Okay, so you wouldn't pick him. Another reason why you wouldn't pick him? Okay, because he don't have a um, expression facility. No, facility of expression facility is right um he's not like speaking skills oh okay he, or, he, he doesn't, doesn't he have doesn't, he doesn't have a speaking skills mm -hmm. it, it is a reason it, could you could you could you think he 
giving a conference <laughs> about the about Diana or oh, speaking uh, to a group of people uh, representing Diana, maybe the sales go down <laughs> immediately. Yeah, the sales will decrease. That's true. Decrease. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is a good Bye. reason. I totally agree. <laughs> okay, yeah. very good. <laughs> Thank you, very nice. Okay, next yes, team. Right. In the next team, I had Erika, Hector, Jamie, and Mirna. Uh, Mirna said that she would be a listener, so she sent me the information that you have. I'm going to share it. So, who is going to talk first? Who wants to tell me why would you pick the celebrity for your product? Uh-huh. Someone in the team. Oh, go ahead. Jamie. Okay, tell me okay. the product and tell me why would you consider him? Uh, the product that we we did choose is uh, pupusa in the brand name Goya. You can find it in Goya. <laughs> uh, so the the celebrity that we choose is Leonardo DiCaprio because he has taste the pupusa and he he, he has um, say that the pupusas are better than tacos, <laughs> Mexican food. <laughs> so, so for this reason, we 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 choose the Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> hmm, actually, that's a good idea. Okay, I like that. Okay, another member of the team, please tell me which is the celebrity you wouldn't consider. Anyone? Uh, not considered a endorse for our product, uh, Mr. Donald Trump, <laughs> because he is, he is a pretty hater of another another country, maybe Latin American, <laughs> and is uh, very I think very angry and uh, not represent our product. Sure. Definitely right. Imagine he hates actually Latin American country. For mm -hmm. him, everybody in Latin America, all the countries are Mexico. <laughs> so yeah, definitely he's uh, not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh -huh. sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, nice job, teams. Uh, all of you did an excellent job. I like the celebrities that you picked, and I like the reason why you picked them. Very good job. So basically, that was what we were talking about yesterday, celebrity endorsement. So don't forget the vocabulary. Now, important details, everyone, when we are speaking, we always has a... We always have some little details in grammar that we need to consider. For example, if I am talking in third person, remember that it's a little bit different. So imagine if I say she have, can I say that? No, she has. Ah, ah. very good. So remember, it's third person, right? We need to say she has. Um, what is the pronunciation of this word? Can I say followed? Followed. Followed. Mm. followed. followed. D. With that D sound. Followed. Hello. Then Hello. I have third person again. She don't. Can I say that? She doesn't. No. She doesn't. Ah, again, third person. She doesn't. Children's. Hmm. Can I say that? Children. No, children. children. No. Uh -huh. Remember that children, that word is already in plural. What is the singular of children? Child. Correct. So child is in singular, children is in plural. So we don't need the letter S. 
Okay, mm -hmm. be careful. Again, third person, he don't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Very good. So be careful, everyone, because mm -hmm. um, I know that you know the rules. So it's time that all the information that we had in our brains, I mean, let's put it in our mouth. Okay, let's be careful, especially if you see the main observation is the third person. So we need to be careful with that, especially because we are not beginners anymore. We are intermediate. And after intermediate level, we go to advanced, okay? So be careful with that. Now let's continue for the topics that we had for today. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, please say present. Carlos Abrego. Present. Very good. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Very good. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Excellent. Isabel Hernandez. Isabel Hernández. Okay. Iván Guzmán. Present, teacher. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present, teacher. Excellent. Holman Girón. Present. Nice. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Nelson Antonio. Okay, very good. Um, Oscar Armando. O Oscar Armando. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Um, Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina Alvarado. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, oh, Mirna is listener. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you, everyone. Now let's start. And by the way, in this moment with the attendance, you have a very good attendance, everyone. La mayoría va muy bien con la asistencia. Vamos a la mitad del curso, así que no vayamos a perder lo buen, lo bien que vamos con la attendance. Okay, so be careful, no faltemos ni, un de, ni uno de los días que nos falta. Okay, en este momento solo uno de ustedes va con un colorcito ahí, no en verde, así que be careful. Uh, no faltemos en lo que resta del curso. Okay, now let's start. I'm going to share the presentation again because we are in the middle of the week. We will have like an evaluation, okay? Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes, good. Okay, we are going to have a midterm review, okay? Um, I'm going to ask you questions about the most important topics that we have been studying during the uh, last weeks. We are going to review unit one and two, so I will be asking you a lot of questions. We are going to have a lot of exercises just to prove that you know the answer to the topics, okay? Remember that this review is in order to verify that the topics are clear. If you have a question, if there is a doubt or something that you don't remember or you didn't understood very well, I mean, you can tell me. If you didn't understand a topic, just let me know, okay? And I can explain again. So let's imagine that this class is an evaluation, 
Okay, so let's imagine that you have to answer all the questions correctly. So, do you remember what were the topics that we studied in the unit number one and in the units number two? What topics do you remember? Uh, the present perfect. Very good, present perfect. What else? The product life cycle. Very good. Monetary, ground, decline, market introductions. Excellent, yes, that's a good topic. What else? Another topics from the unit number one and the unit number two? Oh my gosh, you don't remember? Remember, this is, let's imagine that this is an, uh, an evaluation. So, what other topics do you remember? The fourth piece, teacher. The four piece. Uh -huh. Yes, marketing the mix. Product, price, placement, and another, not remember. Promotion. Promotion. Nice. Very good. Excellent. Anything else? The grammar topics. Which grammar topics do you remember? The use of a no. Uh huh. Would rather. Very good. Uh huh. What else? Anyone? Quantify. Fatima, can you Quantify. repeat? Quantify. Quantifiers. Yes, definitely. So guys, those topics that you already mentioned, those are some of the topics that we are going to review. Please, if you have any question, if there is something that you, or maybe that is not so clear, tell me, okay? Let's start as your classmate said. Well, first let's see the objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. I want to read. Teacher. Yes, please. If, uh, class objective. Review the main topics and grammar structures studied during the unit one and two. Very good. So, Let's start, as your classmate said, the product life cycle. I hope you remember everyone. And we are going to answer these questions. So question number one, what are the four steps in the product life cycle? Who remembers? Introduce a marker. Uh-huh. Growth. Growth. What else? Matur maturity. Maturity. Decline. And decline, the decline is a decline. That's and correct. Decline. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay, Jamie has one point. So, Jamie, pick one of your classmates, please. Oh. Mm. Fatima, Denise. Fatima, okay. Fatima, answer the question number two. What happens during the decline step? Um, don't, don't have demand. Uh -huh. And the, the customers don't see attractive the product. Okay. And, and, and make a decision about this continuum, this continue the crowd. All right. Everybody, is that correct? Do you agree, everybody? 
Or you don't different. remember? <laughs> yes, what Fatima said is totally correct. Remember, in the declined, sometimes it's because there are a lot of saturation or just the product is not so interesting anymore. People stop buying it. So the product, it's obsolete. Okay, very good job. Fatima, you got one point. Pick someone else. Holman. Holman, can you explain me what's uh, marketing saturation, please? Uh, I remember when is when is a lot of uh, a lot of uh, competitors when when there are a lot of different brands when you have competition with others persons or brands or companies. Very the, the good. Same, the same product the same product and a lot of different brands and new companies, I remember. Yes, exactly like that. Very good job, Holman. You got one point too. Okay, um, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, I don't know. Maybe Jamie. Jamie? Uh, she already participated. Remember. Pick someone else. Uh huh. Um, Magdalena. Okay. So, Magdalena, can you explain me what's the meaning of discontinue? Discontinue. Discontinue is when when the owner of the of the product decide don't don't produce that um, don't continue producing. I am um, I confuse my ideas. <laughs> but, okay, but the situation is that. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you got the idea. So complete the idea. So the owner decides. Don't, don't produce anymore. Ah, very good. That's correct. Simple as that. And this usually mm -hmm. happens during the decline steps. Very good. You got one point. Magdalena, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, my pleasure. Uh, okay. Um... Fatima is already. Yes, pick someone else. Erica? It's already Erica. no. No, okay. Erica, can okay. you tell me? Erica. Thank you. The number five. What is the meaning of buyout? Uh huh. Can you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. I'm going to be really honest and I don't remember. Okay. Ask for help. Um, you can use a lifesaver. Please pick a classmate. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Ivan, help her. What is the meaning of buyout? Meaning buyout. I, I understand buyout is many um, uh, by uh, actions in the company. Okay, all right. Everybody, mm -hmm. what do you think? Do you agree? Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, do you agree? Is that correct? Yeah. This mini a buyout is a the buy the or for part. Uh, for example, if uh, the fabric is 
by uh, for part the motorcycles or or car. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a by for for part no no not all the the products. All right, okay. So that's good, oh, everyone. You got the idea. <laughs> Buyout is, is basically a synonym of purchase. Okay, so basically it's just a synonym. Okay, very good job. Very good job. You are answering correctly. So remember that this is a topic that we started during the unit number one. If you don't remember this, let's review a little bit. Let's review. Now, Another topic that we studied is would rather. Do you remember this topic? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Only one says yes. My goodness, uh, yes, everyone. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Okay, okay. So a let's practice bit. a little bit. Listen, there is a, a common problem during a, when we studied this topic. Most of the time, we don't use would rather. Most of the time, we use would prefer, which is not wrong. I mean, would rather and would prefer basically is the same. However, we need to check some of the differences. Remember that if you want to use would rather, this is the structure that you need to follow. You need the subject, then you need would rather, and after would rather, I need the verb in the base form. Do I need the preposition to before the verb? Yes or no? Uh huh. No, Can... Ah, very good. I don't. Look, I would rather leave. I would rather. Go. No changes in the verb, no preposition. And that's the difference when we use prefer. Look, when I use prefer, I do need the preposition to. I would prefer to leave. Um, she would prefer to meet. Okay, so if you want to use would rather, that's great. Just remember, you just need the verb in the base form, but no preposition to. If you want to use prefer, I mean, it's all right. But remember that in that case, you need the preposition to. Is it clear the difference between would rather and would prefer? Yes it's or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. If it is clear, let's do a practice. All right. I got some sentences. Let's create some sentences. Look at this. The number one says, I would rather, and the verb is learned. So what will be the complete sentence here? I would rather learn or I would rather learning. What do you think? Or I would rather to learn. What would be the correct answer? Yes, I would rather learn. Learn. Only, only learned. Only? Learn. Learned, very good. Okay, I will be asking individually. Let's just start with, okay, uh, Ivan. Number two, what will be the correct sentence here? Read it, please. I will prefer have. I will prefer have dinner late tonight. Okay. Everybody, is that correct? To have. No, no it's to have. Ah, it's look. To have. That is what I want you to see the difference between prefer and rather. Mm -hmm. If I have prefer, I need to add the preposition to. That's the difference, everyone. I would prefer to have. 
Okay. Next one, Christian. Christian, can you tell me the answer in the number three? Yes. Would you rather drive a car or motorcycle? Very good. Excellent job. That's correct. The next one, let's see. Hector, number four, what would be the answer here? Um, she would rather, rather live with her parents than alone. Leave. 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 That's the pronunciation. Live, do, live. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Leave. Do I need, Hector, do I need a preposition too? What do you think? I don't think, no, teacher. Very good. No, really, because I'm using rather. rather. Exactly. Very good. Okay, let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Wow, I had a lot of listeners today. My goodness. Okay, Teacher, you see. Uh -huh. I, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. In this case, in third person, we don't have to use S. Not really. Okay. In this case, everybody, remember that we are using would. Would is a modal. So in this case, the verb is just in the base form. It doesn't matter if it is plural, singular, third person. It doesn't matter if it is affirmative or negative or question. The verb is always in the base form. The only difference is if it is preferred, you use to. If it is rather, you don't need the word to. Simple, okay? Now, uh, Lucy, can you tell me the number five, please? What will be the answer? I think uh, is would you prefer a, a stay in or go out? Stay in or go out, okay. Do I need the preposition to or not? Yes, you have to. Yes. Remember everyone, if you use prefer, we have to use the preposition to. I would prefer to. That is the difference. And I'm explaining this because sometimes when we are talking, most of the time we use prefer instead of rather, okay? Be careful. Okay, the next one, number six, Carlos, can you tell me the answer in the number six, please? Would you raise her? Rather? Making, rather making dinner or go, or go out the restaurant? Okay, making, are you sure? Making. Mm, yes. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Is that correct? Or do you have another idea? It's make. Make, it's just make. Ah, make. Remember the structure. Let's go back to the presentation. If you use rather, would rather, Look, the verb is in the base form. That means no changes, okay? Be careful. Okay, the next one, and number seven, Erika, what is the answer? It is they would prefer to play soccer all day instead of studying. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes, I agree. Definitely. So that's the difference, everyone, between would rather and would prefer. Okay. Look, would rather learn. That's it. Would rather and the verb in the base form. Would prefer. The only difference is that you need the preposition to. Okay. That's the only difference. So you can use the ones that you prefer, would rather or would prefer, as you want. Just remember, if you use would rather, the verb is in the base form. 
If you want to use would prefer, okay. Just use the preposition to. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, or it's Any question about this topic? Remember that this is like an evaluation. I just want to see if you really understood the topic. No questions? Are you sure? Okay. Yes, teacher, are you sure? Well, if you don't have questions, I do. Let's practice speaking. I have these questions about would rather. I just want you to choose an option, but explain me why. For example, look at the number one. Would you rather get your paycheck daily or monthly? <laughs> How are, guys? Which one would you like? Daily or monthly? Mm -hmm. what's, what's many paycheck? Oh, paycheck is the money that you receive for your work, your salary. Okay. That is the meaning of paycheck. So would you rather receive your salary daily or monthly? Monthly, I prefer monthly. Why? Uh, for me it's uh, it's better because uh, the four monthly uh, organizes my finance, my fine, fine, fineness, personal Your financials, financial personal. Okay. In the case uh, daily, um, I think uh, spending uh, the money in in the. <laughs> that, that's a good point all right so exactly i need, I need a i need a, a, a i need a prepare a budget aha uh -huh. very good so exactly as ivan answered that's what i want i want you to tell me which one would you rather but i want you to tell me why? We are going to have a few minutes to answer these questions with your classmates. Pay attention in the question number five and number six. In that case, I want you to create a question. Okay, I want you to ask a question using would you rather. For example, you can ask your classmates, um, would you rather drink soda or water, for example, okay? You have to invent the question. The same in the number six. Ask your classmate, would you rather, oh, I'm sorry, in this case is, would you prefer? Look, here we are using the preposition to. Would you prefer to eat pizza or hamburgers, okay? So let's practice speaking, everyone. I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's groups. I know that right now we have like many listeners. So, but please, the ones that are no listeners, everybody enter to the groups, okay? I want to listen to everybody participating, okay? So remember that the more you practice, the more you will improve. Um, Hector, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. I don't know if it's a smart question, but I don't know. Uh, if you if you ask me use a wool radar, can I uh, answer with a prefer to or 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 change? If you ask my ask ask me a user prefer to. Can I use a uh, wool radar? In this moment, I will give you freedom. All right. Correctly, mm -hmm. if the best option is, if I ask you, we would rather, the best idea is to answer with would rather, answering the same way. But tonight, in this moment, I will give you freedom. Okay. If you want to use would rather, Great. If you want to use would prefer, great. There's no problem. I will give you freedom. 
Okay. But, but, it, but in, a, in a free conversation with uh, people like you who uh, know a lot English, to the correct is user, if you, if you ask use a uh, reader, my answer is or uh, must be uh, would, I would. Right. Yeah, when you are in a conversation, everyone, the best option is always answer with the same structure that they are asking you. It's the oh, same. Okay, mm -hmm. Thank yes. you, teacher. But if you want, would prefer, it's also correct. I mean, there is not a very strict rule. You can use the ones that for you, it is easier, okay? No problem. Okay, everybody, let's go ahead and practice. If you are in a group where nobody is talking, please let me know. And immediately I'm going to switch you to another team. Let's go to practice. I don't listen to you. can hear me. Yes. Okay. Is there for the phone? Okay. 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 The first one, the first one says, Would you rather get to face up daily or monthly? What? <laughs> Would you rather get your face checked daily or monthly? Monthly. Why? Because uh, if it's daily, I spend everything. Yeah, yeah. I know. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's a, it's a good idea. Okay. Would you rather get your pay, pay check daily or monthly? I I guess that in my case, monthly. Because if you receive a uh, uh, the money monthly, you can distribute in all the in all the things and all the things that you have to pay. For example, uh, food, taxes, house, <laughs> transportation. So I believe that. Okay. I would prefer, I would rather get my paycheck monthly because I think that I can organize my financial in the best way that daily, I think, for the same reason that Jamie said a few minutes ago, for payments, hey guys. taxes, anything. Mm -hmm. uh in my case, I am a pretty, pretty compulsive buyer. I don't know if uh, if, if I have a, 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 a lot of money, I think mm, this device is good for my uh, for my cell phone. I want I want to buy it. <laughs> and for for this reason, I think for this mm, I don't know. There's a reason. Uh, I Reason. prefer get my what? Reason. Reason. Mm -hmm. Reason. 
I have I I, I have confused I, I confused with the reason maybe uh, I don't know if temporada is different I don't know season I think is temporada what is the difference season and reason the spelling ah. reason is with the letter R season is uh -huh. with the letter S. I'm season. sending it. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, reason for this reason, I I I I prefer I um, I will rather get my money every mo monthly, every month. Okay. okay. Next question. Uh, I'm going to... Hey, mm -hmm. You're going to say it, Jamie. What? I I'm going to say the the next question, the second one, and you the third. Okay. 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 Would you rather have a lot of up one teacher? How I can say that? Okay. In the number two is acquaintances. 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 Do you know what the meaning is? No. <laughs> okay. I don't have idea. Those are people you know, not friends, just people that you know. For example, um, in your work, you know a lot of people, right? Mm -hmm. But they are not your friends. You just know them. It's like your neighbors. You know your neighbors, but maybe they are not your friends. Okay, that is the meaning of acquaintances. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Would you rather have a lot of acquaintances or just one close friend? In my case, I am pretty shy. Um. Shy. Shy is, 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 is ah, timid. I don't know. Um, it's and correct. I prefer. It's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. I prefer take a uh, no, no, no. I would rather. I would rather have a close one close friend and and have a, a good conversation uh, and. Um, <laughs> lost, lost my idea. But I I I, I would rather have a, a one plus friend friend. Okay. Here's my turn. <laughs> uh, I prefer to have I prefer to have <laughs> a, a close a close friend and because I know a friendly person I just I just uh, I have a only friend um because I know a talkative person. <laughs> so, uh, what? Uh, what about you, uh, Christian? In, in in my case, in my case is the same. I think that I have a lot of acquaintances, but I would rather. Uh, <laughs> John Food, John, John Food, John Food, comida chatarra. But yes, we like it's like fast, mm -hmm. fast food. And sugar, sugary, sugary drink. What's many sugar drinks, teachers? Soda. Sugary drinks is the opposite of natural drinks. So sugary uh -oh. is like Coca Cola. Uh, the juice that comes in a can, 
like eh, jugo del valle, for example, eh, juguitos petit, all of those are sugary drinks. It's the opposite of natural juice. Mm -hmm. Artificial. Artificial, exactly. That's the one. Like time, suco, fresquito. Uh huh. Okay, and then what do you prefer? What do you prefer, Holman? Um, would you rather keep out on the food or rather keep out? I, I am a little bit confused with the with it up. What, what is the the the, the, the meaning in this case? In this, in this case, it's like to stop. So, would you rather stop eating junk food or would you rather stop drinking sugary drinks? That is the meaning of give up it's in a, that sentence. It's like stop um, mm -hmm. or a boil. Exactly. Oh, what? So it's you will you will never consume that product again. Oh, I yes. understood the opposite. The opposite. I understood the opposite. Give mm -hmm. up on June. Rendirte a. Oh, no, this is I like, that. <laughs> no, in this case is when you won't consume that product anymore. So you have to leave junk food or sugary drinks. Which one will you stop consuming? It's a difficult question for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult. You are teenagers. <laughs> It's, it's difficult. Why? I don't know because are very good. <laughs> yes, Coca Cola, um, Red e Bull, Monster. You love both. Yes, <laughs> I think it's very difficult for me because I have to enjoy the life and and eat and drink. Uh, those is. It's like, enjoy the life. <laughs> enjoy the life. I like that. <laughs> okay. It's difficult. <laughs> I don't know. Other question for me because I don't, I don't. I can. Okay. In, in my case. I... You cannot give up any of them. Okay. No, How about you guys, <laughs> Ivan or Magdaleno? How about you? I <clears throat> the the two option is is bad for me. <laughs> John Foot is um more uh, cal calories calories. Mm, yes. Much calorie and sugary drinks, uh, the high um, sugar in the body. Uh, what do you say? Este, the sugar in the sangre is este, diabetes. Diabetes. Di diabetes. It's a it's a problem. Diabetes. Mm -hmm. mm, Apple. I prefer uh, cooked food. Good, good food. Junk. Junk, junk. food. Junk. Sounds a like junk ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Magdaleno, how about you? Actually, I don't like junk food. Just, just burger. Just that. I don't like anymore. And with the uh, sugar drinks, maybe I like um, energizer drinks. Is correct that like that? Yeah. I I like just that. 
with the other one, I don't have troubles with give up on them. Okay, easy for you. It's only easy. it's only difficult for whole man. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, I am start to, to live the life. <laughs> Holman, how old are you? Yeah, I am twenty-two. Okay, yeah, you you are it's young. A baby. Yeah, he's mm. still young. Okay, enjoy yes. life, but you cannot enjoy it forever. <laughs> okay, be careful. <laughs> your mom and is coming, Holman. It's yeah, coming. your mom and yeah. is coming. After the thirties. <laughs> After the thirties, yeah. <laughs> teacher, how old are you? Ah, no, I cannot answer that. Um, <laughs> I am. You can, you can speak about thirties. Uh, I. You are. You are so young. I wish, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. You look I like. I think that the camera helped me to look younger, but I'm not. I'm 30, actually. actually. Yeah. Uh, you this, look, you this... look like 20s. Oh, thank you, but I'm not. <laughs> actually, this year I'm going to be 31. So. Happy birthday. <laughs> Welcome to the 30s. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sad. So, Holman, <laughs> be careful, okay? Okay, guys, two more minutes and then we go back to the main room. So, you can answer the next question. Or you can go to the question number five and you can ask an individual question, please. Okay. To have a cat or a dog? Can you, can you repeat it, please? Would you prefer to have a cat or dog? Actually, I have a cat. Free cats. Free. Yes. So <laughs> I always want to choose a cat. I definitely prefer to have a cat. Yes, I always. In, in your case, what, what would you rather? Have cats or dogs? I have two cats and two dogs. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Of pets. <laughs> have, have you ever had a, a hamster? No, I never. Never. You, have you ever had another pet? I, I prepare to, to live in country for that reason because when I was child, I lived in 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 the country, I have good uh, recuerdos. How say recuerdo? Memories. Memories. Yes, I have good memories of uh, the country. And you, Jamie, what about you? I would rather uh, live on the country because. Mm -hmm. The weather is better and you have more area a big yard you can have a different kind you have you can have a different animals for example dogs cats and it's not in it is in, in the in the house there isn't so close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, you, uh, grow, up, you grow up in the world. country. Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up. All right, time's up. 
time's up. Let's go back. Okay, everyone. Very interesting answers I was listening to. Now you are very talkative. Imagine everyone that this practice was your speaking evaluation. Will you pass the exam? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes, of course. That's the attitude. How about you, everyone? Imagine that this practice that you just had, that was your speaking evaluation. And I was taking notes. Do you think that you will pass the exam? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Excellent. <laughs> Very. I like it. Only Erika and Fatima has the confidence. How about you, everyone? Would you pass the exam? Yes or no? Uh -huh. I think so, teacher. What do you think? <laughs> no, you tell me. I would like to know your teacher. confidence. Uh huh. If you For the were... faith, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. And then, yes. <laughs> Christian, what were you saying? That if you, I think that you are a good teacher. You're you going to put, say you that we are good. Because of the because of the effort, because of uh, the friendship, yes, right? Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> because the, it's Friday. It's Friday. Ah, because know? it's Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's nice. Now, I, um, be honest with you, everyone. I like the way that you are trying because in some groups, very talkative. I mean, you talk a lot, and I like that. I know that one of the most difficult things, and that is one of the issues that I can identify is the lack of vocabulary, all right? I know that when you are talking, sometimes you don't know the word, you don't know how to say it. And I saw some of you searching on the dictionary and that's great, but don't forget to also write it in your notebooks. So later you can review the words and memorize them, okay? Excellent job. You were talking a lot, giving details. Um, I was listening that you were um, you were using the phrases would rather and also would prefer, and you were using it correctly. So that's awesome. I like that. Now, be careful with little details. For example, the pronunciation. What is the pronunciation of this word? Organized. Very good. Yes. Organized. Everybody, please, every time that you don't know what the pronunciation is, you can also go to the dictionary. All right? Go to the dictionary and try to listen what the pronunciation is. Now, this is a little detail that you have to keep in mind. I know that this is not a topic. I don't know if you already studied this in the previous level, but when you use the preposition for and then a verb, the rule says that the verb has to be in gerund. And we are going to say for paying, okay? I don't know if you have heard the phrase, thanks for coming. Have you ever heard that phrase? Yes. Thanks for coming. Or thanks for caring. For caring. Yes. Or thanks for going. So they are saying, gracias por venir, gracias por ir, gracias por escuchar. So listening, for example. Hey, thanks for listening. So cuando expresamos un propósito, y usamos la palabra for, for example, en este caso, ah, tengo dinero para pagar. No vamos a decir for pay. We say for pay. Or the other option is to use the preposition to. Ah, tengo dinero para pagar. I have money to pay. Estas dos, they are exactly the same. The meaning is the same, okay? In English, the most common one is this one. 
Okay, that is the most common one. To pay, to go, to have, is that one. This one is not so common, but if you use it, you have to add ing to the verb, okay? That is in general. Maybe this is not a topic that we have studied yet, or maybe later you will study it, but pay attention with that, be careful. Teacher, a question, sorry. In my work, I used to use a lot of, um, to make the payment. I don't know if it is correct because I, used to pay the debt of a client. So I don't know if it is correct. Oh yeah, I mean, in that case, you are using the verb make. So no problem to make the payment, it's okay. Or to process okay. the payment. Mm -hmm. But if you see, you are using this one too. And after two, you are using the verb in infinitive. And that is the idea. And if you want to use the preposition for, you can use it, but you have to add ing to the verb. That's the rule. Yes, is it clear? Uh huh, everyone? Totally. Yes. Okay. Now, um, I prefer get. Can I say that? No, it is. I prefer, I prefer to get. To get. Ah, to start with, and this is another topic, everyone. If you see in this sentence, ni siquiera me dijeron would. So be careful. To start with, I have to say, I would prefer to get, okay? Si me utilizan la frase solo, I prefer, that's another topic, and the verb will be different. So be careful. What's Look at the, the next one. I'm sorry? What's the difference? Okay, the difference. I don't want you to get confused, uh, but if you want to use just I prefer, the verb is in ing. So I prefer going, I prefer eating, I prefer dancing. That is the difference. Pero aquí es cuando no usamos would, right? So be careful. Now, the two options is bad. Is that correct? Ah, bad. Ah, no, it's bad. Ah, plural. Be careful, be careful. So if you see everyone, little details, but we also need to keep in mind that. Any question uh, so far about would rather and would prefer? Or is it totally clear? Totally clear for me. Totally sure. clear. Did you pass the exam? Of course. And come on, guys. You said that it's totally clear. Did you pass the exam? Yes. <laughs> come on. Oh, oh, I goodness. can say raspado. <laughs> no. Yes, 10 of 10. Yeah, 10 of 10. That's the idea. Okay. In the lint. No, <laughs> okay, no. Okay, let's move on, let's move on. Uh, let's see, I'm going to share another topic and this is a, an evaluation too. Ya pasaron la primera parte, okay? You pass the first part. Let's see if you get the next part. Right now, imagine that you have five points. You need another five to get 10, okay? So, Look at this, quantifiers, your favorite topic, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and some of you are like, no. <laughs> okay, quantifiers, easy. Complete the correct, well, complete all the sentences, everyone, with the correct quantifier. You already know the difference. A few, when can I use a few? Countables or uncountables? Countable. 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 Very good, exactly. Okay, how about a little? Countable. No, it's uncountable. Countables or uncountable? No, it's uncountable. Both. Or both. Can both. I say a little apples? No. No. 
Ah, oh, no. Uncountable. So this is for un uncountable. Okay. A lot of. This is for both. Both? Are you sure? Uh -huh. Yes. Countables yes. and uncountables. How about enough? Enough is for nouns and adjectives. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. So we can use it with nouns. That means countables or uncountable nouns. Or both. Can I say enough money and enough apples or not? <sighs> ah, yes, yes, I, saw, I see some of you didn't pay attention in the examples that we practiced yesterday. So actually this is for both everyone, okay? Countables or uncountable nouns. How about many? Countable. Okay, how about much? It's for uncountable. All right. What is the difference between a lot of and many? Can I use many in affirmative sentences? Yes or no? No. Not really. In which type of sentences can I use many? Question. Question. Negative. Ah, very good. This is more for negative or questions. How about much? Is that the same? No. Yes. Question. Aha. Uh -huh. Also negative or questions. But if I have affirmative, which one can I use with affirmative? Much. Uh -uh. A lot of. A yeah, lot of, very good. So everyone, I already gave you the clue. Les acabo de regalar el examen, okay? <laughs> so now you just have to analyze the sentences, complete the sentences with the correct quantifier. For example, the number one, we only have glasses. So, you have to analyze first the sentence is affirmative, negative, or question? Affirmative. It's affirmative. affirmative. Okay. This glasses is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Okay. So analyze the context. We only have ta da 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 glasses we need to buy some more for our party so can i say we only have a lot of oh no. no it's a few okay yes it's a few a few yeah. okay yeah. so if you think that is a few write it okay i'm going to give you five minutes to complete the sentences and then we are going to see if your answers are correct. Okay. Everybody complete the exercise because I will be asking individually. Imagine that this is an exam. Okay. So five minutes, complete the sentences. If you have a question, I cannot help you because it's an exam. <laughs> Go ahead. If there is a word that maybe you don't know the meaning, tell me, I will help you. Teacher, eyes, what do you think? Is countable or is uncountable eyes? I don't remember. <laughs> really? Yeah. You forgot it. Mm, it's an exam. But I'm going to give you a clue. The verb to be can give you a clue. 
Remember that uncountables are always in singular. Okay? Always. The uncountables is always in singular. Uncountables are always in singular. Mm. Ah, so Thank that's you. the clue. Thank you so much for the point. <laughs> You're very welcome. If you have a question, everyone, tell me. Imagine that this is an exam, so try to analyze the sentences. If you have a question, just let me know, please. Remember, pay attention. You have to identify if the noun is countable or if the noun is uncountable. Pay attention in that. You have three more minutes. Three more minutes. Teacher, the pronouns of the place where you drink coffee, what is the pronunciation, the cafe? Oh, that the is number five. Yes, it's cafe. When you are talking about the place, like the coffee shop, the pronunciation is like that, cafe. The cafe. one that you drink, that one is coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a question, everyone, let me know. Complete the exercise. Two more minutes. And then we are going to check the answers. I finished it. Excellent, very good. I, fin I finished it. Excellent, very good. Everybody, did you finish or not yet? Uh -huh. We're going to start checking the answers. So if your answer is correct, you can give a check. If your answer is incorrect, you have to write like this, an X, okay? Let's start. Fatima, can you give me the number one? Read the sentence, please, the full sentence. We only have a few glasses. We need to buy some more for our party. All right, and that answer is 
totally correct. Very good job. So everybody, if you wrote a few, check. Very good. Okay, volunteer for reading the sentence number two, please. Uh huh. Volunteer, who wants the points? My goodness. <laughs> Can I? Yes, please. Go ahead. Number two. There is too much ice in my drink. Can you please bring me a new one? Okay. And the answer is? Correct, that's the one. Okay, you got the answers. Magdaleno, can you pick uh, someone, please? Yeah, my pleasure. Okay. Okay. Um, nobody's here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Fatima, you are my friend. Uh, she already passed. She was the first one. Okay, first... Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> Who? Mimi. It's Fatima. Ah, Ivan. Okay, Ivan, if you want. Okay, thank you, thank you. Ivan. Go ahead. Okay, I will try it. I would like a little more sugar in my coffee, but just a little bit. Very good job, very good job, excellent. Okay, Ivan, pick someone. <laughs> that, that sounds like a big team. Okay, pick a big team. Uh, Rosalinda, are you there? Uh, I, I think she's listener. Okay. One moment. Um, Erica, tell All me. All right, Erica, go ahead. Number four. Okay, Sarah drinks a lot of coffee. That's why she's always nervous. <laughs> I like that sentence, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It has to say Erica drinks a lot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the answer is totally correct. Very good. Erika, pick someone, please. I see Holman right there. All right, Holman, number five. Go ahead. Um, there are too many people in this cafe. Let's go somewhere more quiet and that's correct excellent job very good holman pick someone i don't remember who i get to sacrifice again <laughs> okay we are going to pick christian christian can you pick uh, can you read the number six yes kid we don't have enough juice for everyone. We need to buy some more. And the answer is correct. Excellent job, everybody. Very good. Now, how many correct answers did you have? Did you pass the exam? Yes or no? Yes, yes I have all of them. Ah, oh. nice. Everybody, did you pass? Yes? Yes, yes. Ah, very good. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. So, <laughs> easy or difficult to use the quantifiers? A little bit. A little bit? Uh-huh. The rest of you, what do you think? Easy or difficult? I need practice. It's difficult. It is difficult for me. Difficult? I, I have difficult to... Defer, to make difference between uh, countables and countables. Mm -hmm. I know that that it is, is my, a little bit difficult. Big, yes, this is my bigger problems. Mm -hmm. with, with your clue is more easy, <laughs> more easy. It is easier, easier yes. Easier, mm -hmm. Remember, and that is something that you have to keep in mind. When we are using these phrases, 
Okay. Remember what we said in the grammar explanation. And I'm going to say this in Spanish and I shouldn't, but I will say it. Cuando usamos estas frases de los quantifiers, con los contables, los contables siempre están en plural. Porque yo no puedo decir, I have a lot of car. Mm, can I say that? A lot of car. No, right? Can I say many apples? Can I say that? No. So, when I use these phrases, cuando uso los quantifiers con los contables, los contables siempre están en plural. En, aquí va la clave, los uncountables siempre están en singular. Los Uncountables no tienen una forma en plural. Never. Okay? For example, if you say sugar, hay mucha azúcar. Sugar is sugar. You can never say sugars. Never. Okay? Coffee, for example. Uncountable. You can never say coffees. Never. The example that we have in the number two, ice. You can never say ices. Ah, there are a lot of ices. No, okay? Uncountables are always in singular. Is that clear, everyone? Yes? It's clear. Perfect. Any questions so far about this topic? Teacher. Yes. Sincerely, I have a missing the, in the second second line because uh -huh. I write a little, a little, a no, little, a, a few. Oh, a few. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember that a few is for countables. Countable. Mm -hmm. So that's why we cannot use a few in this sentence because in this case, ice is for uncountable. Is okay. possible to use a little? Not really, because remember that the sentence says there is two. What is the meaning of two? Do you remember? Demasiado, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine there is two, a little, not really, right? Mm -hmm. So the only way that it is possible it will be si solo dijera too little, maybe, but not really. I mean, we never use those phrases. So mm -hmm. too much, okay? okay? So in this case, si queremos usar little, the sentence must be a little bit difficult, uh, different, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay, everyone, the time, oh my gosh, is very late. Let's move on. Let's see the difference between how much and how many. How can I use this one? How much? Countables or uncountables? Uncountables. uncountables. And many? Countable. All uncountables. right. Look at the sentences and let's see how much uh, healthy you are. How much water do you drink every day? Let's pay attention in the structure of these sentences. Look how much, because I'm using water. So how much water do you drink, everyone? Option A, a lot of. Option B, look, because the sentence is negative, I use much. Or letter C, the sentence is negative, so I use any. Okay, how much water do you drink? A, B, or C? A, the letter A. Letter A, a letter B. Uh-huh, and the rest of you? C. 
Magdalene, oh my gosh. <laughs> really? You don't drink any water. <laughs> yes, I don't drink. How are mm. you alive? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, everybody, don't be like Magdaleno. Please drink a lot of water, okay? Now, look at the next question. In the next question, it says, how much, again, this is for uncountable. How much chocolate do you eat? Uh-huh, a lot of, little, or any. What do you think? Let it be. Let it be. Chocolate. Be. <laughs> be little. Mm. Little. Yes. I eat be. little chocolate. Okay. Mm, okay. Um, See. Si. You don't eat any. Okay. Actually, okay. I eat uh, something. Sometimes. Sometimes. Actually. Okay. Okay, volunteer for reading the next question. I like it. Uh -huh. Okay, but it says, how much alcohol do you drink? <laughs> uh <-huh. clears throat> Magdalena <clears throat> says, A. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be honest. I, I don't judge people. <laughs> it's just my face. It's not I don't drink alcohol. It's just my face. Ah, your face is the one like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anyone, how much alcohol do you drink? A lot, a little, or any? any. Ivan drink a lot, he said mm -hmm. yesterday. <gasps> no, <laughs> come <laughs> on. He already changed. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, tomorrow. Good, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the rest of you, everybody? A lot of, a little, or any? A little. A little, okay. In, in my case, I'm between A and B. It's not a lot but it's not <laughs> a little. <laughs> All right. Now pay attention in the structure. Can I say, ah, I drink a few alcohol. Can I say that? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Why not? Because alcohol is uncountable. We don't have plural. We cannot say alcohols, never, okay? So that's what I want you to remember everyone, okay? When we have a countables, they are plural. When we have uncountables, they are in singular, okay? Now, um, we don't have a lot of time, my goodness. Okay, let's move on with the next question. But creo que nos vamos a saltar esta. Yeah, let's go with the exercise because we don't have a lot of time. Sorry. Okay, I wanted to complete it with how much and how many. For example, in the number one, if I'm talking about sandwiches, what do you think? How much or how many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Yes, how many? Are you sure? Yes. Definitely. Yes, uh, yeah. Okay, I will be asking individually. Christian, number two, how much or how many? How much? So read the full sentence, please. How much ice cream do you eat every week? All right, very good job, very good job. Fatima, number three, read the sentence, please. How much coffee do you drink? Very good, excellent. Erika, number four. How many hours do you work every day? All right, look, if you see everybody, all the uncountables are in singular. And what happens with the countable? Look, a beautiful plural, okay? 
Now let's continue with Hector, number five. Uh, I think how many money do you spend on clothes? How many? Are you sure? I think. Mm, everybody? Um, ah. So if you are not sure if money is countable or not, look at the word. Is that in singular or in plural? Incountable. Money is incountable. Exactly. It's uncountable. So that's why we say much. how much. How so much. be careful, Hector. Money is uncountable. Okay. Okay, next one. Carlos, can you read the number six? Carlos, are you there? Okay, Jamie, number six, go ahead. How many rooms are there in your house? All right, very good. How many rooms? Good job, good job. Next one, Holman, number seven. How much time do you spend on the phone? Very good job. Uh -huh, everyone, let me ask you this question. How much time do you spend on your phone? <laughs> a few hours or a, little, a lot a of just, hours? A little. A little bit, just uh, uh, 12 hours per day. <laughs> a little bit. So all the time that you are awake. My goodness. <laughs> uh -huh. And the rest of you, everyone? A few hours. A few hours, okay. And the rest? All day, every day. I don't have enough time to use the phone. <laughs> My goodness, all right, okay. Now, Magdaleno, can you read the last sentence, please? Okay, of course. Uh, friends, how many friends do you have on Facebook? Very good. That's the one. So that is the difference between many and much. Be careful, everyone. Now, because of the time, let's see the last quantifiers that we are going to review today. Imagine that in this moment, everyone, ahorita tienen de calificación. Um, nah, 70%. No, I'm, I'm going to give you more. I'm going to give you 80, okay? 90%. No, 80, come on. Answer correctly. How this much exercise... money for the 90? 100%. <laughs> How much and... money do you want? Ah, come on, you cannot buy me. Okay, <laughs> let's complete these sentences. If you answer correct all these sentences, you will get a hundred percent okay so you ready everybody volunteer for reading the number one you have to complete it with a little or a few i take uh-huh volunteer a little a little a little, a little sure? sugar in my tea okay a little, very good. Okay, let's do something. We are going to play the hangman. For each mistake, a part of the body. Okay, number two, <laughs> volunteer for reading, the number two. Nobody wants to be a volunteer. Okay, Richard, Richard. Had, Richard had a few sandwiches for lunch. A few, are you sure? Yes. Yes. yes, very good, very good. Thank you. Next one, number three. A little, a little vine is good for you <laughs> and for everyone. <laughs> That's correct. And yes, a little wine is good, everyone. <laughs> Next one, number four, volunteer. Oh, I have God. a little time. Do you want to talk? All right, very good. Ah, oh, come on, everyone, make made a mistake. Don't you want to have a head? <laughs> Next, volunteer number five. Who wants to try? 
Twitter, can you speak a little, right? A little, are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Yes, confidence, come on. Number six, who wants to try? Volunteer. I want to everybody participate, please. Carlo oh, makes a few mistakes on his homework. Are you sure? Yes. Definitely. Ah, oh, Ivan, you sound very confident tonight. I like that. Number seven, volunteer. I am going outside for a little fresh air. Very good, totally correct. And the last one, volunteer. There were a few girls at the party last night. Good job, all right. Hi, very good, everyone. Okay, now let me tell you, because you didn't make any mistakes, hmm, I will give you 90% <laughs> because we still have four minutes and, well, we don't have enough time, but let's complete these sentences. I want you to create sentences using how much? or how many, and use this. For example, what question can you create using how much or how many? How much Coca-Cola do you think? <laughs> Very good, I like that. How much Coke do you drink? I like that. Llevan 95%, 95%. Another question. How much? English, do you speak? Ah, very good. How much English do you speak? 96%. Another question. How many books do you read? Oh, I like that. How many books do you read? You have 97%, 97. Next one. <gasps> Come on. Everyone. How much time? How much time do you spend at home? How much time? I like that. Next one. You are about to get it a hundred percent. How much English do you know? How much English? Okay. I like that. Oops. How much English do you know? Yeah, why not? And the last one. Do you have? How many shoes do you have? All right, very good. Excellent job, everyone. You did it great. I like that. So far, so good. So if you see, that's the practice about quantifiers. I know that is difficult. There are many rules that you have to memorize. And this is just with the practice, OK? So you can go online. Internet is your best friend. Okay, so every time that you want to practice, go on the internet and just write quantifier practice and you will get it. Okay, now before I continue, I need to check attendance one more time. So when you listen to your name, say present. Um, Carlos Abrego. Present. Very good. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Uh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Okay, very good. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Nice. Isabel Hernandez. Present. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. I think she had issues with the connection, right? I think. Okay. Give me one second.
Okay, um, next one, Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Okay, very good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela Carolina. Okay, very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Okay. Eh, Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Okay, now, very good. Now everyone, uh, we don't have more time. Just uh, let me tell you something. Tonight, uh, I'm not going to ask anyone to stay because I know that it's Friday, you might be tired, so nobody has to stay tonight. Uh, but just a reminder, be careful with the attendance, okay? We are in the middle of the course, so be careful with the attendance. You have a good score right now, so try to stay in the full class, the two hours every day, okay? Second thing with the platform, you are doing an excellent job. Believe me, I feel really proud of you, but there are a couple of people, I don't want to say the names, but you know that, okay? So work on the platform. It's an obligation if you want to move to the next level, okay? Ya tienen una marquita ahí, ya les pusieron ahí la nota that you had to work on it, so please do it. And the last thing, I know that there are a lot of reasons why you are listeners, and I don't have a... No me opongo. I'm, I'm okay with that. But just be careful when you are listener. It has to be because it's an emergency or because you have a very good reason for that. If you see, tonight we had a lot of listeners. And during this week, I had a lot of listeners during the full week. So try to use listener option as last result, okay? Like... La última opción. So if you can participate, do it. Okay? No abusemos mucho del listener. Ay, es que hoy no tengo ganas de participar. No, please. Okay? Que sea el último recurso. Así que solo cuando de verdad sea necesario, seamos listeners. As the contrary, let's try to participate. Okay? Now, everybody, this is all for tonight. Thank you so much for being in the class. Al final llegaron al 100%. Así que, good job. Very good. Now, have a good weekend. Try to rest and see you until Monday. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. See you. Don't drink too much, please. <laughs> good night. Take care.